Hello, I'm Carl Johnston. I'm the pastor of the Atlanta, Ebenezer, and Hopedale United Methodist Churches of the Prairie Winds Parish. Today, our question about prayer is about praying before the meal. Why do we do it? How should we do it? So let's start with those. Why? What are the reasons that we would pray before we eat? Well, one is we're grateful. We're grateful that we have any food at all. We think about those who may not have food. We think about those who may have um, not enough or are hungry. But we may think about the fact that we have food on the table and probably some in the kitchen and the cupboards and the freezer and the refrigerator. And uh, we had to decide tonight what we we're going to have for dinner as opposed to are we going to have dinner? So there should be a sense of gratefulness when we come to the table and we have something ready to eat, whether that's for supper tonight or lunch or whenever you have a meal. The second, that's why, but how? How do we do that? Um, I am a firm believer that blessings over food and prayers over food before a meal should be short, relatively short. Um, here is the Jewish prayer before praying over the bread. Uh, typical, there was a, some bread available, and so there would be a blessing over the bread. Now, in Judaism, there is a blessing for everything. Uh, here's a short list of some of the blessings I found on a website. There's a blessing upon rising. There's a blessing when you are bathing. There's a blessing for the morning. There's a blessing when you smell spices. There's a blessing when you eat fruit. There's a blessing when you eat vegetables. There's a prayer a grace for after the meal, which I'll talk about. There's a prayer for before you study the Bible and a prayer for after you study the Bible, or the, our Jewish friends would say the Torah. So there is a prayer in Judaism for everything. We come out of that. Jesus was Jewish, and so Jesus had prayed simple, short prayers, blessings, throughout his entire ministry. Now, when we have communion, we have the ritual words of Jesus took the bread and blessed it. The blessing over the bread is this in English. Blessed art thou, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who brings forth bread from the earth. So one of the things we're addressing is God's provision for us. So when we pray a meal over the, over a, when we pray over a meal, we're talking about and thanking God for his provision for us. Who God is and what he has done. Now, in communion, we talk about after supper, he took the cup and blessed it. And that blessing is, blessed art thou, O Lord our God, King of the universe, creator of the fruit of the vine. Those blessings are very short, very specific. We pray so that we can thank God for his provision for us. We thank God for those who prepared the food for us. And we pray that the food will nourish us, strengthen us, and help us to do the things God wants us to do. How long should it be? Not. Not very long at all. Now, there are times when we're teaching young children how to pray that we use very ritual kind of prayers. And certainly our Jewish friends had very structured prayers as well. There's a place for that, but there's also a place for kind of expanding um, and doing something more original and thinking about why you're praying before you have this meal. The other thing I would tell you is there are sometimes um, you don't want to go too long. Um, when I first went into the ministry and started talking to my family about going into the ministry, uh, my dad and I had a conversation and he said, you, that's fine. You can go into the ministry. I have no problem with that. Be very proud of you. But don't you dare ever pray like that minister prayed at that one Thanksgiving. You know what I'm talking about. He prayed so long that the turkey and the mashed potatoes and the green bean casserole green bean casserole all got cold. And this was before we had microwave ovens. You remember that? When everything had to be reheated because he went on and on and on. Don't do that. This is also not a time to 
expand on or look at your own soul. This is not a time for you to examine yourself and see whether there's any sin in your life. There are other times for that. Uh, so asking for forgiveness before you eat is probably not good unless you're, and, and even if you're going to commit gluttony, that's not a good thing to ask for forgiveness before you overeat. Anyway, the prayer before you eat should be concise to the point, appreciating God for his provision, appreciating the people who prepared it, appreciating the good food that it would nourish us, and then we should pray. And that's something for you to think about.